so uh, you know when i started with my uh, cyber security career okay at this particular moment uh, you know we were a basic beginner is always introduced with ces because this is a certified ethical hacker certification which is a global certification and every security aspirant go for it okay at the particular moment uh, when i was introduced with cp uh, ces uh, so uh, you know uh, our mentor Uh, so my mentor sadik shek he introduced me with a penetration tested tra- t- uh, testing track okay this testing track was you know designed with uh, uh, cnd ceh ceh uh, practical then cpen and then lpt so at this particular moment it was my dream to you know appear for this exam and be a master in penetration testing uh, uh, you know so uh, in so i started with my ceh then i completed ceh practical then uh, then i you know i jumped out to cpent and then i uh, you know i uh, i cracked this cpent and lpt so uh, apart from my professional career you know uh, every day i used to take 1.5 hours to 2 hours uh, where i usually you know uh, practicing all the ranges which was given by ec council that is a fantastic uh, you know practicing range which were uh we were given for the testing part and i usually uh, you know i uh, i i do uh, try hack me and hack the box so uh, usually i tried practicing uh, such labs on those uh, uh, retarded machines and different set of uh, environments uh, where i was you know working on active directory binary exploitations and stuff so uh, it was a fun learning because anyhow this is very uh tough uh, certification so we have to practice it very uh what we can say uh with a persistent and uh, uh with dedication so it was like i was uh, usually uh taking my too much of time into this and uh, when there was an uh, one week prior to my exam i took a week ho- a holiday from my office and from 7 to 10 8 hours i usually you know uh started uh, working on practice range and learning all the stuff and then uh, i appeared for the exam okay so uh, you know when we usually start with the cpen certification there are a lot of things which we have to study like active directory binary exploitations then ctfs then web application exploitation networking like pivoting double pivoting operation technology so there are different set of uh, ranges and environments we have to study and uh, cpent is not a you know a, a, a night certification or or a month so you have to dedicatedly give you all your experience and your uh, study is into it and definitely it's a very tough for certification which uh, you know uh, what i have usually heard it from everyone that it's uh, it, it becomes very difficult when it come to cpent and lpt and then uh um, most of the people you know are not able to crack even we have multiple blogs on them youtube videos but apart from this when i started preparing for this exam so uh, i i had my confidence uh, with me and uh, whatever skills i have developed till date so uh, i used to uh, you know uh, make it more um, and more better uh, and night so it was a tough competition but apart from that when i executed with my all uh, hard work Uh, and smart work definitely i i i passed it and uh, i cracked the uh, 90% in that so uh, there are three things which you know uh, there are more more than three but uh, the most three things which i usually uh, loved uh, related to cpent was a real world approach so you know there are a lot of certification but this is very important that there is a real world approach is there where we usually you know uh, are focusing on uh, the live uh, environments like simulated one where we usually test for our skills and uh, do those hunting part so that uh, that is very important that's a real world approach second thing was a practical edge which i loved most because uh, whatever uh, study material i usually followed from internet that was really not helpful where practice range was very really uh, helpful and made in very uh, you know uh, very uh, what we can say uh, it, it gives us immense uh, security perspective where we have to hack into it and we have to crack those systems and uh, get those ips and uh, set of answers so that was second thing and then third thing which i mostly usually like is the way cpent was uh, designed like we have uh, two options like 
uh, what we can say there are uh, uh, we can take it for 12 hours or we can take it for 24 hours so it depend on us that we take 12 12 hour session or directly take 24 hour session so the three things uh, which i mostly like was, uh, uh, was in the cpan so uh, like i told you about uh, uh, my experience regarding the practice ranges so the labs which were uh, provided by cpan was wonderful so if you want to prepare for cpan or you want to crack the certification you have to focus on uh, whatever practice range they have given and you have to understand the uh, deep uh, uh, you have to understand it deeply and gain th those knowledges on cpan because whatever practice ranges they have given is uh, you know uh, focused on your uh, study material whatever you will get into the examination part second thing whatever you have learned and whatever things you have executed that will be you will be getting into the cpan part like say uh, uh, if you want to exploit uh, binary exploitation which is really tough like uh, which i mostly you know it's tough for me uh, to execute like 32 bit exploit and 64 bit buffer overflow so this kind of things it made us easy to uh, solve whereas in they gave us practical knowledge uh, the videos which which were introduced to us and which was given to us is really helpful where uh, we have uh, learned all those skills uh, uh, we have uh, you know uh, done the same setup lab on our side also we have i labs where we can execute this kind of uh, testing environments and even all those uh, uh, like CTFs and web application which which were given by them is really helpful to understand all those practice ranges and execute the exam uh, with a dedicated manner and you can really clear the exam if you focus on practice ranger whatever they have given. You don't have to uh, worry much about on internet or go on internet searching for those. You have all those materials, you have a bookshelf where you can access all those uh, directories uh, out there and even watch the videos and do the exam so uh, it, it's like uh, uh, when I you know uh, started CPAN examination it was my dream to complete LPT okay and when I became license penetration tester at that particular moment it, it, there was a confidence which was built on my side that I will get uh, you know a good opportunity when I uh, when I hunt for jobs and that's really came into the picture because when I, you know, uh, started appearing for different interviews, so there are there is a company from uh, Chile, South America. They approached me regarding a job opportunity, and uh, when I uh, and when I went to uh, the set of interviews at that particular moment, uh, I, I cleared it very, uh, you know, easily. So uh, it was a tough competition, uh, sorry, tough interviews, but uh, I, I cleared it out. Apart from this, when it came to the salary expectations and salary offering, then they definitely provided me a good package due to this certification because whatever industry certification they looked it for. So I, I was having that and up, uh, according to my uh, industry certification and my skills, they offered me a very good package. So definitely CPEN helped me out with my career and uh, I will you know tell everyone to go with this certification because if you want to uh, complete your penetration testing track so you must definitely uh, work on this certification which will definitely boost your career. The CPENT is known for his uh, comprehensive curriculum like it covers network penetration testing, it covers web application penetration testing, API penetration testing and different set of uh, social engineering and, and stuff. So uh, usually uh, we don't have such uh, a more demand or a deep uh, understanding of curriculum where we have for CPEN and uh, uh, definitely our industry recognition is must and we know that EC Council is a brand where, where as in we work for multiple certification and if we have that certification we are uh, stood on the uh, you know next level where in, in a queue so uh, that definitely helped me out uh, uh, and uh, uh, I guess uh, and it depend definitely depends on the individual needs what what they exactly want to uh, as have their as per their goals and what they wanted to execute but definitely CPEN uh, is a good certification uh, if we talk about in a penetration testing way. So, uh, CEH gave us a broad overview of the tools and techniques uh, which hackers or penetration testing penetration tester usually uh, use to exploit all the vulnerabilities. While if we talk about CPENT, so CPENT uh, gives us the practical knowledge or gives a hands-on experience on real-world scenarios 
plus uh, they give us simulated uh, labs where uh, actually we exploit all those vulnerabilities and uh, and you know uh, take our penetration testing skills to next level so uh, see there are different set of ranges uh, which we have to executive executive like execute like active directories uh, then uh, uh, network exploitations pivoting double pivoting operation technology so active directory and uh, definitely uh, binary exploitation so if you want to study it uh, uh, if you want to crack this exam definitely you have to focus on practice ranges which is given by ec council apart from this if you want to uh, if you want to learn all those uh, techniques uh, and and skills so the watch all the videos properly and execute in your system um, maybe definitely you will have call linux to do all the stuff so you can uh, go with that apart from that whatever practice range that definitely you have to solve because that will make your uh, you know exam easy uh, for you when you will complete that sequent ranges but apart from this uh, if you focus on uh, whatever videos they have given or uh, whatever uh, topics they have uh, told us so you can uh, use those topics you can youtube you can uh, l- learn hack the boxes you can check on youtube videos so definitely you can uh, earn a lot of things from there and once you are done with the practice ranges you will definitely have a full confidence that you can crack this exam and uh, you will definitely do it but uh, time management is very important where you have to manage all your professional career and uh, do this exam and apart from that uh, you have to be very focused and dedicated towards a certi- such a cert- certification because see when you start working on a particular thing uh, you are always uh, on on you know uh, top of you should be on already on top of it because uh, you won't get that time you have to find that time and uh, using that time you have to execute it very properly so i think time management is also very important uh, while working on cpet so apart from this uh, your uh, till date skills if you think that do not directly go after ch or ch uh, you know uh, once you done ch or ch practical do not jump on cpent usually most of the uh, people i have heard on linkedin they directly go and then fail the exam so what my suggestion would uh, to be uh, my suggestion would be to them is to understand and gain those skills because if you uh, go on to i class or i labs you will definitely have all those uh, curriculum and syllabus uh, for cpent so try to gain all those uh, knowledge from those particular sets say you focus on active directories there are multiple labs there are multiple certification uh, and you can go with that you can learn those things and once you are uh, you know uh, done with all your skill set and you think that you are uh, uh, well pe- prepared to go with cpent just go for it and then when you will start completing your labs because this is this is 30 days labs and uh, you may get the ex- extension and uh, uh, but still uh, you have to execute everything and uh, be focus on your uh, work and definitely once you do the smart work you will get the certification very easily